If you're a Game Boy lover and follow social media, you've probably seen modders creating their own Game Boy cartridge logos. Well, in this video, we're gonna show you how. All you need is a basic flash cartridge and access to a PC, Mac, or Linux-based computer. And of course, some basic graphic and GUI-based programming knowledge. And then you'll need a copy of GB Studio. Head on over to gbstudio.dev. The legend behind this software, Chris Maltby, was kind enough to create a GUI-based interface to create Game Boy games. This freeware software is available for PC, Mac, and Linux-based systems, and requires little to no programming skills to create your own Game Boy title screen. The software even comes with a template with its own demo game. In this video, we're gonna show you just the basic steps required to create your own custom title screen. The first step in the process is obviously to install the program onto your computer. Once the software has been installed, simply open the program and create a new template. The software will come preloaded with a fabricator game. However, in this instance, we only require the first logo screen. It's now time to file and save your template, as we will come back to this page and template in the future. Before creating your cartridge logo, there are a number of things that you must keep in mind. Firstly, the Game Boy Color Palettes. The original Game Boy was programmed with four color palettes in mind, which are visible below as well as the color codes. These codes are not a necessity and can be changed at any time within Game Boy Studio. However, if you're looking for the original look, we do recommend using them. The next thing you have to keep in mind is the Game Boy screen resolution, which is 144 pixels wide by 160 pixels high. It's now time for you to start designing your logo for your Game Boy cartridge. We recommend using freeware software pixelart.com. When creating a new image with this software, you firstly must input the dimensions of the image. In this case, 144 pixels wide by 160 pixels high, followed by the hex color palette in this instance, we chose a simple light blue palette. After entering these attributes, simply click on the new drawing tab and you'll be presented with a blank canvas. The software is quite easy to use and has a similar layout to the old Microsoft Paint. With familiar tools such as eraser, fill and text located on the left-hand column. To demonstrate the use of pixel art, we will be just creating a very simple layout for the cartridge title. For this example, we're just gonna keep it simple. So we'll be using a light green background followed by game text. However, you can mix it up and put as much effort as you like into it. And if your business already has a logo, you can simply download the JPEG into Adobe and save it as an 8-bit file. And then amend the color palette, the resolution, and save as a PNG file. Once satisfied with the look of your logo, it's just a simple matter of saving it as a PNG file as Game Boy Studio only recognizes these file types. It's now just a matter of opening up the original GB Studio save file, which we created at the beginning of the video. The folders you'll be looking for are assets, followed by backgrounds. And then it's just a matter of copying your PNG logo across to the backgrounds folder. Now reopen Game Boy Studio and your save file. Then click on the logo, and the logo tab will appear on the right hand side. Then scroll down and select the name of your newly created file. Then it's just a matter of removing the excess templates and changing the color palette to your pleasing. If you'd like to preview your title screen before dumping it, click on the play button on the top right hand corner of the screen. If you're enjoying this video, now's the perfect time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once satisfied with the preview, you can now dump the file to ROM format. Simply click on the export tab 
located on the left hand side of the preview button. After approximately 30 seconds, the file will be created in .gb format. Now drag the file across to your micro SD card and place into your flash cartridge and enjoy the logo you've created.